انما نقول لكم من دمشق من شعب الاسود ومن عرين الاسود انكم مهما فعلتم مهما جيشتم مهما حرضتم مهما دعمتم مهما مولتم لن لن تستطيعوا ابدا باذن الله في جل جلاله ان تسقطوا رايه هذا الوطن لماذا لاننا نؤمن اولا بالله في جل جلاله لان الله علمنا في كتابه والتاريخ علمنا ان صاحب الحق ينتصر ولو بعد حين وثانيا عندنا قائد مقاوم يقول هيهات من الذله وثالثا عندنا جيش عقائدي ورابعا عندنا مقاومه لبنانيه نعتز بها وبرجالها الاشاوس ونقبل اقدام هؤلاء الرجال نعم نقبل اقدام الرجال في المقاومه اللبنانيه الشريفه نقبل اقدام الرجال في الجيش العربي السوري المقاومه اللبنانيه من اراد ان يتطاول عليها فليرجع الى تاريخه الحذر والحقير اولا ثم يتكلم بعد ذلك على المقاومه المقاومه اللبنانيه حررت الجنوب المقاومه اللبنانيه زلزلت كيان بني صهيون المقاومه اللبنانيه هي شوكه في حلق بني صهيون اما الذين يقولون شيعه وارفاض ونصيريه ارونا ايها القدره ماذا قدمتم للاسلام وللعروبه ارونا ايها القدره ماذا عملتم لهذه الامه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In my previous videos I talked about the Syrian conflict uh, today I will uh, I will tell you the updates in Syria uh, the map that you see in front of you is an online map of Syrian conflict you see Al Hasakah province in front of you there are lots of uh, fronts in progress in Al Hasakah and Daesh tried to Uh, occupy Al Hasaka using lots of suicide car bombs and uh, lots of people in that area uh, are displaced right now and uh, they try to get to uh, Turkey and uh, I saw in the news yesterday that they approached uh, Turkish border and uh, Turkish soldiers prevented them from entering Turkey okay this is uh, one development new development uh, I think Daesh opened this uh, uh, these fronts so that it could uh, decrease the pressure which it was under uh, by Kurdish forces from uh, this side You see that uh, Kurdish Peshmerga forces could infiltrate Arakia city from north east. And right now, uh, for the first time in a long time, they are uh, in Arakia city, the main base of ISIS. Alright, let's go. You can see Arakia city here. As you can see, there are uh, several uh, fronts in progress in uh, the north west of Arakia. Also, Kurdish forces can be seen here in northeast. And the final objective of Kurdish forces is to cut the ties of uh, ISIS with uh, Turkish side unfortunately Turkish government has been supporting uh, Daesh militarily wise and uh, not just militarily but in all the aspects it supported uh, these uh, tech theory group 
uh, and uh, it's um, Turkey Turkish government is accessory to all the crimes uh, are which are being committed by ISIS in uh, both uh, Syria actually in Syria in Iraq and uh, Lebanon anyway you see of course uh, on the left side Ain al Arab or Kubani which uh, in Kobani just one front is in progress between okay let's go to from Arakia let's go to This is Aleppo, a very crucial part of Syria, which has lots of uh, which lots of infrastructures of Syria is located in, such as uh, big factories, firms, and industrial complexes and other places. The Aleppo is uh, totally crucial. Uh, whatever group uh, has the upper hand in this province would be uh, can take lots of advantage of uh, this province due to uh, its vast territory and other things that I mentioned uh, as you can see in the picture in the video uh, Aleppo in Aleppo, all the groups involved in the conflict are uh, present. You see that uh, some parts of north and east is occupied by is occupied by Daesh. Uh, the center and south is controlled by uh, the Syrian army, and the west and is controlled by FSA and Al Qaeda and uh, Northwest is uh, controlled by uh, Kurdish Peshmerga forces. Okay, uh, you can see the cursor on the, the town uh, by the name of Nopul, and of course, uh, there is another town close to it which is called Az Zahra. These two uh, uh, regions are populated by Shia Muslims and uh, they were under siege uh, like six uh, or a year ago but Syrian army could uh, get to them and could help them because they were uh, starving to death the Al-Qaeda and FSA wanted to starve these people to death right now the same situation is going God forbid is going to happen to do to these people, but uh, we Muslims pray to Allah that this won't happen. Uh, in this uh, area that you can see right now, uh, northeast of Idlib, uh, Al Qaeda, Takfiri militants, and FSA, they have surrounded this, these two uh, regions, uh, to these two areas, and they are trying to. Uh, starve these uh, Shia uh, Muslims to death. They have uh, cut the water and also power and also communications, and uh, they are trying to gradually kill these people. The United Nations and other organizations, unfortunately, uh, did not uh, do anything to stop this from happening, this catastrophe actually inshallah these people uh, by the help of Allah would be uh, liberated from the claws of the criminals uh, the al-Nusra and FSA criminals ok so do not uh, forget to pray for them We see here in this area um, FSA uh, 
with the help of Al Qaeda, is trying to stop Daesh uh, from progressing. And this uh, reminds me of one of Mr. Uh, Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah's uh, remarks uh, when he uh, said uh, the war in Syria and the conflict of Syria is not about religion. It does. Uh, not have anything to do with religion. This is just uh, they are just criminals, uh, take fear criminals. They are trying to rob the people of Syria and they are trying to plunder the properties of Syrian people and they are trying to destroy the infrastructures of Syria. Uh, and they are doing that uh, for the sake of the West uh, some criminals, uh, countries in the Middle East uh, such as uh, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Qatar, uh, Jordan and uh, not, to uh, not to mention uh, Zionist regime they are the objective of this uh, war this imposed war is to do that and it's not about, uh, for example, the Shiites are fighting Sunnis or the, the Kurds are fighting Sunnis and uh, other things. This is totally the, uh, the, the satanic policies uh, of uh, the West and some uh, terrorist governments in the Middle East, like I mentioned, uh, which uh, is being enforced by Takfiri militants right now in this area that you can see two, uh, actually three Takfiri militants are fighting with each other FSA with the help of Al-Qaeda is uh, which are both uh, Takfiris are fighting ISIS which is uh, Takfiri organization and everybody knows this ok moving on to Moving on to Palmeria Tatmor, uh, you can see in front of you uh, uh, Palmeria or Tatmor city, which was uh, which is a uh, an ancient and archaeological city. Uh, this city was uh, occupied by Daesh uh, like uh, two or three weeks ago, and right now Syrian army has uh, lots of forces here in order. Uh, in order to uh, stop uh, and halt uh, the ISIS tech for militants to uh, approach uh, Homs province. The ISIS tech for militants are trying to uh, go toward the Homs and from there they are trying to uh, reach al Kalamun and to help their uh, criminal comrades in al Kalamun. But uh, the resistance is, uh, has uh, figured this out, and it is not going to uh, let the, let this happen. Uh, our final destination is, as you can see, Damascus. You can see the fronts uh, in progress between. Uh, uh, between the Syrian army and uh, Al Qaeda and FSA in lots of places like uh, the border uh, lines of uh, Suwaida and Dar'a, and uh, of course uh, uh, in the north, uh, actually uh, northwest of uh, Dar'a, you can see the again another front between Al Qaeda. Uh, with the help of FSA with uh, Daesh uh, and uh, this again shows that uh, this is not about religion because both Al-Qaeda and Daesh they are uh, Wahhabis and Takfiris yet they fight one another so this is not about religion it's obvious I think that's about it. I'll be back with more news about uh, Syria 
uh, and Lebanon and other uh, countries in the Middle East and uh, Islamic uh, world. Please uh, leave your comments in the comment section and uh, please subscribe. Allah bless all of you. Take care and bye-bye.